There are basically two ways to install this application. The first one is to install it as a script. To install it as a script, at first you need to download and install OutHotKey package, including interpreter, compiler and technical documentation of AutoHotkey language. At first, in internet browser, I enter word AutoHotKey. I get a link to AutoHotKey web page. Here in the middle, I have a download button and click into it. Next, I choose the button download current version and I get information about option to save the file. So I do it. After downloading, in my favorite Total Commander file manager, I click on the downloaded executable and after a few seconds I see on the screen the following window of the hotkey setup. Because I already have installed this application, but I take the opportunity to upgrade it, I choose the first option. OK, I get information that some scripts which are currently running need to be reloaded. So I choose close all. This shouldn't take long. OK, installation complete. Now I can run auto hotkey. And I choose this option. And after pressing it, the welcome screen is displayed. I close it. I click exit. And I'm, I'm done with the first part. The next part is to find Hot strings application. I recommend to download it directly from SourceForge portal. So let's enter SourceForge and in the search box let's enter hot strings. Next, let's click into download and after a few seconds we have an option to save hostrings exe. This time, this time let's click cancel because we want to install script version. Let's go back two steps. And here, let's click into source, SRC, and let's download the freshest available version. And again, download should start after a few seconds. And this time, let's click save. And again, in file manager, we see post strings A, H, K file is downloaded. That is all. Alternatively, we can download this application in executable form. The second option is sometimes convenient because then you do not have to install at first auto hotkey. Then after clicking into files and you can choose bin, bin folder and again download the freshest available version. And after a few seconds, executable 
can be saved into default download folder so as you can see now I have two versions downloaded that concludes this step thank you for your attention